I got my classes to level 60. Oh, well, actually, I was leveling up Carpenter, so it's 65, technically. And don't ask me why. My culinarian, for some strange reason, I'm always like, oh, I want to level up cooking in the game, and that'll be, like, the thing that I'm known for, or thing that I, not known for, but <laughs> thing that I can, like, do to help my friends. And then I just, I stopped at level 70. <laughs> it's so stupid. Hi, Ian. Good morning. Good morning. How are you doing? Okay, let's tick tock. Oh, I was like, why isn't it popping up? Because I spelled it wrong. <sighs> good morning. I hope y'all are having a good day. Good morning, guys. Good morning. Okay, let's move this over. The only problem, for some reason, my um, my music messes up if I have both of this stuff running. Well, I mean, I think it's because Final Fantasy fourteen is pretty um, heavy duty. Why is it not working? Oh no, it's stretched. <laughs> wow, <laughs> why is it stretched? Do okay now, just had to sort something over the phone. I'm glad. Hopefully that was easy. God darn it. Why isn't this working? What does this button do? Oh. That's what it does. Okay, what if I do this instead? Okay, no, that messed, that messed it up. <laughs> Start it. Why are you not working? Okay, maybe I have to start it first and then do it. <clears throat> IT in the mornings. I'm hoping that I get far into the. Whoa. I'm hoping I get far into the MSQ, but I hope I don't get too far because I'm probably just gonna be like only focusing on it unless I am told that I'm getting too close <laughs> to the ending, in which case I'll probably stop and we'll like do something else. But I need to be reminded at three that I need to do a Nintendo thing. And could you do me the biggest favor and remind me in case, in case I forget, I don't really think I would forget. I don't know why this is like breaking. Let's see, is it good? Like what? <laughs> what did I do so differently from today? What the heck? Why is it so big? Darn it. Here, how do I, what if I say center? No, what if I say it to screen. Oh, that's not good either. I might say screw TikTok today and just not do it. <clears throat> Camera. Add. Add. No. Okay. All right. Screw TikTok today. We're not going to be doing TikTok. <laughs> I don't know what's going on with it. <laughs> Oh well, we'll just focus on this. Can somebody let me know if drops are still a thing? Hi y'all, good morning. Let me look it up. Twitch drops for the Choco Kapur. I don't know how to say the Choco Kapur. Let's see, this one, news. All right, it goes until Monday. <clears throat> The 29th, so you all have this week and just one day next week, Monday, maybe, <clears throat> depending on how it, how, when it ends. I don't know what GMT, BST, or AEST is, <laughs> so I'm not sure. <laughs> I'm going to assume it's in the morning on Monday, so. All right, well, drops are still going on then. Good morning, everybody. Hello. 
a uh, yeah. Let's see. Don't my outfits so like put together? They're so randomly put together. All right, let me switch to my scholar. And uh, let's go and get, go to the area where I have to pick up the MSQ. Also, there's no sound, is there? There isn't. It's like throwing me off. GMT is British time. Um, gotcha. Is that too loud? Nope, sounds good. You like my outfit? Thanks! <laughs> Chaos! <laughs> what? Good morning! Hello! How are you doing? <laughs> good morning. All right. <clears throat> have to open and sort m the new Magic the Gathering product. What's the new Magic the Gathering product? I think I need to turn this down on my end. Sounds good though. I'm gonna try it one more time. It's bothering me that I can't go live on this either. Ugh. Bloomboro animals. I care to explain a little bit further because I don't know what that means. Don't know what that means at all. <clears throat> Yesterday I was uh, crafting and it was so odd to me because uh, when you're a Lollafell, random people could just come up to you and pet you. <laughs> it's so random. This set is called. A oh, Bloomboro and it's only animals in the set. There's no humans. And is it just like all different types of colors? Oh, look at there. I think I fixed. GMT 1430 BST. I just closed out of it, but here, let me look. Can y'all tell me what time this is? Uh, Twitch, drop, choke over. Hi, Issa. Good morning. So what is 8 GMT for me? What is that? 8 GMT. 9 BST. 18 AEST. <laughs> what is that? What is that? Okay. Love the music here. It's so nice. Holy cow. Would it be 3 p.m. for would it be? I don't know. I'm asking you. <laughs> what is 8 GMT? 8. 8. Just 8. It just said 8 o'clock GMT. So I'm assuming that'd be like early morning for me. So then maybe it would end before Monday, technically. 
Yay, I think I got it all working now. Yay. Never give up. <clears throat> Make this bigger and this move to the side. We have to go find Wuklamat. Wuklamat. She is in Bright Bloom Post. So let's head there. Bright Bloom Post. 8 a.m. or 8 p.m.? It just said 8. I'm assuming 8 a.m. because I'm assuming they'd use. I'm assuming they'd use uh, the military time if it was the other eight. Don't ask me what that is. Eight, like 16? Or is that not it? I don't know how to do military time. It's just not me. Gosh darn, my education. 20! 20! 20. Okay, 20. I was like, wait. I did the opposite. I add, I subtracted instead of add. I'm seven hours behind, so it's 1 a.m. Okay, so that pretty much ends on like that Sunday. Okay. Sounds good. <laughs> Screw military time. I always have to count to figure it out. All right, Galul, why are we here again? What are we doing? Oh, right, Galulja met Kona and he's just like, I guess we're going on a little tour. I can't remember. <clears throat> Zoralja had become unimaginable powerful. It was only with Miss's help that we managed to defeat him. And now I have a responsibility to the people of Alexandria and above all to Galulja. I promised it and I, I wanted us to become family and it isn't only out of a, um, obligation. Since I've gotten to know you, I've come to really like you. Oh, that's sweet. Is it good, FN? Awesome. Thank you. You might not be my nephew by blood, but we're family to the end. We'll always be there to help each other. Isn't that right? How sweet. I love, like, this whole dynamic. It's sweet. Why did you need to know what time? It's because I just... There's, like, drops going on on Twitch, so I just wanted to know when it ended. Hi, Specky! In case somebody asked. You too, miss. After everything we've been through, we've already, uh, we're already as good as family. What? What do you mean, what? The more family you have, the merrier, don't you think? Come on, let's head into the barracks. Not necessarily true. <laughs> the more family you have can be the more, more hectic. All right, let's see. We have to go in to where? Oh, in here. Hi, good morning, everybody. I hope you're having a good Tuesday. I need to get my bangs cut. They're so long. I literally just got them cut, too. All right, Kona. Please tell me this is voice acted. Would like to hear his voice. Darn it! <laughs> it's not. Gosh darn you. Okay, I'm glad I could hear what happened in the dome. But I'm sorry you had to bear such a heavy burden, Lamachi. Don't be. As Val of Resolve, it was something that I had to do. Besides, it was your ingenious strategy that kept Tuliolo safe. Yeah, bringing somebody the dragons, the coolest thing ever. I want to go back and watch that cutscene again. Asking you to rule with me was definitely one of my better ideas. It was because we all fought as one that we could repel the invaders, and then only with the aid of Vitra and his kin. Thanks to Alphano and Asinian interceding for us, we were able to swiftly forge an alliance with Radzat Han. And when the dragons appeared in our skies, I felt that this was it. 
the Tuli Yolo you had envisioned. We owe our new allies a great debt, and I doubt that we can repay them one day. Did I say doubt? Wait, did it say doubt? <laughs> Indeed, once I've dealt with matters, we should go back and thank them in person. I'm surprised they didn't stay. So they just like, wasn't that a long trip? Maybe not for dragons. Maybe not. Miss had told me as much, but you still have work to do, yes? <clears throat> yes, I need to find Sphine. Queen Spleen. She harmed our people so that her own might live, but as I was raging at her deeds, I realized something. Just because Toliolo is safe doesn't mean I can ignore what becomes of Alexandria. That's the kind of thinking that led to conflict in the old days. I want to help the Alexandrian people live in peace and happiness, and the only way to do that is to stop Sveen from walking her path. How the heck can we kill an endless? I'm hoping that's not what we have to do. <laughs> I'm thinking that's the only way, though. Unless we could somehow convince her, but I seriously doubt we're going to be able to convince her. Very well, Lamachi. Just promise me you will take care. I promise, Kona. Da -na -na. All right. Well, while I have anticipated this, I still can't help but worry. I'm sorry I have to go away again so soon, but even setting Sveen aside, some of our people may be among the endless. I can't just sit around and leave everything to the others. I understand. Wait, what did she say? Thanks for the follows, guys. I appreciate it. Good morning. Um. Oh, my bangs are so annoying. I'm so long. Maybe I should just put them up. Yeah, I'll put them up. Oh, okay, that's better. I understand. I have matters here well in hand, so do what you must. For all you've done for us, for our nation, and our family, I fear I can never express significant gratitude. But thank you from the bottom of my heart. New family. What are they giving me? Rose real Nick. Mmm, beef. <laughs> the heck. Okay. In pursuit of Sveen. I guess we have to go find her now. But we have to figure out how to get into a void gate. Or get through it. Or find it. I forgot what we have to do. Well, it was good to catch Kona up. Now we'll talk to the so Hmm? So Link Pearl. Who might this be from? Hello? That's right. Miss is with me. Is that so? In that case, let's meet at Sun Perch. See you soon. Yushtola's heading back. I dare to hope she's found, found a way to pursue Sveen. If you all wanted to go on ahead to Sun Perch, I'll pay our soldiers a quick call. Sun Perch. Did Yushtola already figure out a way to get through that fast? Whoa, look at everybody. Ready. Ooh, Stinian. Dan Credit Orion J is here too. Whoa, everybody's here. Apologies for the wait. Jeez, <laughs> she brought everyone. You're all here then, that means. I, we believe we found a way to travel to the reflection to where Sphine has retreated. I was busy providing aid in Solution 9, so I haven't heard the details myself. Could you start from the beginning, Ishtola? 
Per Sveen's own words, the gate atop Everkeep was open and closed by the power of interdimensional fusion. And it was the artifact known as the key that allowed her to control it. According to Ket and Ram, the key was brought with me to the source 20 years ago. It was then kept here in the palace until its theft by Zeralja, who used it in Yasulani to fuse a portion of our world with this reflection. Um, yeah, okay. Following Zeralja's demise, Fiend claimed the key and disappeared through the gate. But where exactly did that gate lead? In seeking the answer, we took another look at Ori Origenics and made a startling discovery. As you all know, there should have been one more level at the summit of Everkeep. Was there? Hi! How long have you been playing the game? Um, do you mean just for today or do you mean in general, like in overall? I've been playing since it came out in 2013. Off and on, of course, off and on. <laughs> Definitely not straight. <laughs> the 12th level, the King of Resolve's royal abode. Right, but when you actually went there, you saw that it didn't exist. Curious, we analyzed Origenic's logs to see where the memories of the departed were being sent. And where should it be but through the gate to the missing 12th level? That level alone must have lain outside the fused region and so was left behind. Interesting. Then it means... The reflection to which Fiend has fled is her own. Oh, I should have said Alpha Note. <laughs> Indeed. Tis Fiend's home world, and she has returned there to join the memories of her departed citizens. Wait, what? Uh, but as the key lies with her on the other side, we haven't the means to reopen the gate. Forgive me, but I thought we already knew she had gone home, or at least it seemed obvious to me. What I want to know is, how do we pursue Sphine if the gate here is closed? We use another gate, and it just so happens we know where one is. The Sky... T oh, the Sky Deep Sino... Sino... Oh, that's where that comes from. Oh, thanks, Madrona. <laughs> I all evidence suggests that the gate there leads to the world whence the Alexandrians and I came. Yeah, oh, I got it. But assuming that's true, how can we open it? That is what we shall find out using the code in this earring. Oh yeah, the earring is like a USB drive, I forgot. As you'll recall, Carl's earring is in fact a data storage device. An analysis of it yielded a code, something used to control a contraption, and a very large one at that. Given the circumstances of Kryle's arrival in the source, we believe that said contraption is the gate to the Golden City. This is admittedly an uneducated guess, but we are quite hopeful that it will work. I totally forgot about that gate being another entrance i don't know why i thought that we already used that i don't know what the heck to make uh to make such progress in so short a time we really are amazing you really are amazing we couldn't have done it alone the credit must go to the members of oblivion for acquiring the information we needed shale especially good job shale cute <laughs> thanks guys for the follows good morning Right then, it seems the plan is set to the Sky Deep Sinote. Sinote. I don't know how to say it. Sinote. Yeah! Why did I forget about that? Right. 
Alright, Kona. Begging your pardon, but might I have a moment or setting forth? Oh, you are your you're already going to give her the thing? Yes, I had thought to save it for later, but in light of these developments, I feel now it is the time. I made you yawn, sorry. As Lamachi says, I have something for you. Please come with me to Bayside Bevy. Good morning. Hi Majona. Good morning. How are y'all doing today? Good morning. It's a lazy Tuesday today. Oh my gosh. All the way to Bayside Bevy. Oh. We're focusing on Final Fantasy XIV today. Evan, are you here? Will you let me know if I'm getting too close to the end for Sunday? I don't know if you're here. Yeah? Okay. You don't think that'll happen, will it? It's like, I'm, I'm dedicating all my time today to it. Hi, XVS. Good morning. So just being a butthead, so I was watching the TikTok stream. It looks so professional. Does it? <laughs> Thanks. I appreciate it. I'm sorry Twitch is being dumb. Is it just like not loading or something? Good to take my time. No need to rush. This isn't magical delicacy. It's not. I played that all day yesterday and I freaking loved it. I think I set my thing to Final Fantasy though on TikTok. Yeah. I wanted to take a break from Final Fantasy yesterday so I played that wonderful game. I loved it. No stress? Okay. <laughs> Yeah, I loved it. I do want to play more, so we'll see. Maybe I can, maybe I'll want to play more in the afternoon, I don't know. It wasn't loading on my phone. Oh, okay. It's working on my iPad, go figure. Hi, Leanne, you're so sweet. Thank you so much. Oh, look, it says you're number one. It really did look wonderful. That and like the music is, I have such a vibe, I love it. Tulio is safe and in no part, no small part due to your valor. As a token of our appreciation, I have commissioned special equipment for you. While it is inadequate as an expression of gratitude, I pray it will serve you well in your coming mission in your coming mission. I got new equipment? What? It apparently incorporates foreign technology. Leave it to Kona to request such a thing, eh? Foreign technology. Uh, Miwazune Te Yonder has the equipment in his keeping. Just say the word and he will bring it out. New outfit. Is this like the last outfit? The weapons and gear obtained can be equipped at level 99. However, all item stats will be subject to item sync. Item level sync. Upon reaching 100 with the corresponding job, these items will no longer be synced. Interesting. I feel special now. You should. <laughs> Furthermore, the gear can be died upon completion of the roll quest associated with said job. No, I forgot about roll quests. <laughs> Oops. So wait, I can get the outfit now? How much is it? Is just free? Did they do this in Inwalker too? Why do I not remember getting free armor like this? You loved yesterday's stream. It was so much needed on a Monday. Yeah, with the pleasant music. Yeah, it was. It was like a really good <clears throat> Monday game. Yeah, they did. Oh, I forgot. Well, let's see what all of this looks like then, right? I have to only get the scholar stuff. So, scholar. Whoa, what the heck is that? <laughs> okay. Scholar gloves, scholar pants, scholar shoes. Okay, I think I got everything. 
All right, let's put everything on and see what it looks like. <clears throat> so this is the book. Eh, not bad. That is the book, right? Yeah. What is it called? Elect electicism? Interesting. All right, let's put on the outfit. Oh, I like it. Hold on, what's the hat look like? Oh my god! <laughs> wow, it looks like the traditional, I mean, maybe it always looks like this. It looks like the traditional scholar outfit, but it more like explory. Also, I have to say, I liked everything up until the boots got put on, but, but then I also like the boots. Like, look at the little frill on the end. Wait, I like it. Do not like the monocle though. <laughs> but, uh, hmm. Like, up until this, I like this. Just different shoes. Actually, no, it would look weird without these shoes. I take it back. Wow, look how fancy I look. I look like. I, I can't mess with me. I'm a serious book reader. <laughs> the monocle is sophisticated. <laughs> oh my goodness. I just need, are they not going to give you, is it just the outfit? Do they not give you accessories? Artifact gear? Artifact gear. I love it. I don't think I'm going to hide it with my uh, glamour. I think I'm just going to leave it. No accessories? Darn it. The same dyeable equipment, but now we're probably gonna be able to dye it even like there's gonna be more options to dye now, right? Oh, kinda. I can't dye the black part. What about the body? Okay, you got the main part and huh. Hmm. Nerd. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> The dungeons will give you the accessories? True, true, true. Wow, you did, Highland. Thank you. Can you, you just hit it once, right? Or do you just spam click it? <laughs> uh, I guess it's just been a long time since I did in Walker, so I never can remember that you get, I guess, artifact gear. I need to pick Scholar back up. It's so cute. I love... This is the only class that I play, really. Yeah, well it is. Skull, uh, summoner doesn't count. Luckily the level 99 dungeon only drops accessories. You're right. Oops. You're right, Originix. Did I get all the accessories in there? No, I got some, I didn't get all. I got the... The choker and the wristlet, but I didn't get the earrings or the rings. I'll have to go back and get them later. I don't think it's necessary right now, right? No. Okay. Well, I look freaking... I look like I'm gonna go whip some booty now. Alright, through the gate of gold. Ooh, here we go! We're gonna start... <laughs> Wait, this is exciting. Well, with your shiny new gear, I reckon you're ready for anything. Come, let's head to the Sky Deep Cenote. Access to the area is presently restricted per my order, so I shall accompany you. Um, what's the closer one? Maybe this one? Thanks, Brandon, for the follow. I still have Summoner to 26 for Swift Cast, Summoner at 34 for Quelling Strikes, leaving them for my own <laughs> legacy status. Love it. <laughs> oh my goodness. Back then, it was so much more confusing. It was so confusing leveling up classes. I am a Lullafell. Look at my piggy. <laughs> yeah. 
when pigs fly, right, chat? Um, back then it was so confusing. Oh my god, the music in the area, I forgot how good this was. I have to fi I haven't gone to the new area yet. I'm ha I'm guessing I'm heading there now. Right? Oops. Yeah. I know it's called living memory. Because that's what Sveen said. The residents at living memory. And if you really think about it, the name of it makes so much sense. <laughs> How do I? Do I have to go in there? I forgot how to get there. Yeah, I have to go down here. Right. I just got my mount for all battle classes to 100 this morning. What is, what is the mount? The music stopped. <laughs> All right, are we ready to go back in? Do we have to go through the dungeon again? I'm just kidding. Kona has already gone inside, but I couldn't help but take a moment. Just being here takes me back. And it wasn't even that long ago that we visited for the right. So much has happened since then. Going into the depths. Mm -hmm. Truly guided by my grandfather's letter, I crossed the seas in search of answers. What awaits us on the road ahead, I know, I know not, but I shall walk it to the end with you all. Come on, let's go. Enough of the cheesy stuff, let's go. <laughs> I want to hear that, that one song again where we're all working together. It's a good song. Everywhere one turns, harboring vast amounts of lightning. This place is very much alive. <laughs> uh, I love your Stola's voice. Oh, Cat Daddy, thanks for summoning. I didn't even see that. And Madrona, whatever that is, thanks. <laughs> you have Crow, a mushroom. <laughs> try holding your earring to the terminal. Holding your earring to the terminal? Are we gonna be able to meet her parents? Or are they gone, gone? Maybe they're in living memory. Thanks for the follows, everybody. Whoa! No luck. Don't give up How do we yet. open it? The terminal reads the code. It might just need higher clearance. Gulja, would you give it a try? Me? If the king's authority is passed to you, then the gate ought to open. Oh, yeah, use the baby to open the gate. <laughs> But I leave behind that which I've gained by the sweat of my brow. It is yours to embrace or spurn. Love that. That whole scene was so emotional. I was only sad for him, though. Of course. Look at him making important, doing important things at such a young age. What? <laughs> Ooh! We finally will be able to see what's in the city of gold. Ooh, it's gold, all of it's gold now. Open, yeah! We did see ruins. 
Maybe it'll look like that, but not ruined. Happy dance. <laughs> the earring. It really was. Remarkable. A void gate is forced open with a blast of ether, and thus appears as a tear in the fabric of reality. work of a master neatly hemmed without a thread out of place a power to be reckoned with do we know who made it was it cryo's parents that made it but now isn't the time to marvel if galuljar can open the gate then so too can sveen close it they only just said scientists were the ones that figured this out right it be wise to employ magics in its defense both to maintain its stability and ward off interference. While I am able to invoke said magics, I cannot sustain them alone. I require another to channel with me and in unison. For that role, I do humbly volunteer myself, but even our combined efforts offer no certainty of success. Might we prevail upon the two of you to lend your support? Of course. If coordination between mages is required, few would be better suited than Alizé and myself. Shall I remain as well? While your presence would be welcome, I'd rather you joined the expedition team. For despite our earnest efforts, the gate may well end up closed once more. In such a situation, it may fall to those on the other side to devise a method to reconnect our worlds. A task with which you are not unfamiliar, as I recall. I have faith it will not come to that, but should it? I will endeavor not to disappoint. So. Assuming Wuglemart, Kryle, and Erinville are a given for this foray, I'll make myself useful here by guarding those who are maintaining the gate. Should any threats emerge from the world beyond or otherwise, I'll deal with them. That means Astidian's coming with us. As will I. <laughs> Wait, what? Which leaves you free to head in there. And do what you do best. Darn it! <laughs> Never mind! <laughs> Stupid! <laughs> Fine. Darn it! What does Alice want to say? She seems like she wants to come with. Poor girl. With you holding the floor, I know we'll, we'll be alright. Make sure we can return while... We're still young and beautiful. <laughs> Wait, what? I'm gonna do that one. Make sure we can return while we're still young and beautiful, eh? <laughs> That's cute. It's fine. Really? Yeah, see, she really wants to go. <laughs> Vanity before duty. <laughs> oh my god. Just don't let her bear the burden alone. Do you hear? Do you think time is gonna pass differently while we're in living memory? No way. No. That won't happen. It was only when we... Yeah. When we went to the other reflections, time didn't go by so fast. It was like the same. Oh, the time thing threw me off when they first talked about it. <laughs> Uh, okay. 
it is a common sci-fi trope, but it's like, it's so, it's just like such a good twist, you know? Just done. Whenever you're ready. We'll protect the portal. Keep it open no matter what. Alright, time to go in. Me and my little monocle. <laughs> in the first years were days on the source. Beyond lies an unknown reflection. In the first years were days on the source. Really? Wait, really? Short of asking an Asian, we unfortunately have no way of identifying which one it is. Well, what we do know is that it's Sphine's domain. The place where she brings back those who've been lost. So for now, why don't we call it... The Unlost World. Good name. Right. Let's go. Oh yeah, you're right. I did forget that part. When when they went to the first, right? Oh yeah, hundreds of thousands or hundreds of years passed on the first between the time Minfilia got yoinked till the Warrior of Light went. True, I forgot about that. The Unlost World! New area! Ooh! What? 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 <laughs> A volcano? Wow, it looks... How to describe the sheer amazement we felt Ooh. when we emerged on the other side of the portal? I fear words do not do it justice. Oh, wow. Before us was a vibrant world where the memories Rainbow. of the departed a abided carousel? and reveled in bygone what? days. How pretty. Living memory. Volcano? Or so the Antlers called it. Living memory. Wow. How they laughed and smiled as they reminisced upon unfulfilled Little dreams. Little lazy river. Alive in all perceivable ways. Yet, knowing no loss. Wow. So resplendent was every ilm of this paradise. The words rose unbidden to my lips. Beautiful way to describe it. <laughs> All this time, it was here, the city of gold. Wow, it's like a giant amusement park. Well, maybe not a giant one, maybe just there. <laughs> but whoa, this, whoa, this is not what I was expecting. Wow, all the... All the skyscrapers, there's a castle. Do what? Who? <laughs> what is that? Does any, is, is, any, is any of this from Final Fantasy IX? The houses and the lights were really pretty. That kind of did look like the ruins a little bit. Like some of those houses, where, wherever they were. Oh, here, down here. Look at the palm tree. Yeah, here, like how pretty. And they have like a little lake going everywhere with little boats. Oh, we're gonna have to go look around. Okay, this is awesome though. Wow. I love, I love when I get to a new area. Hold on, can I? Eh. Nope, okay. How pretty. Oh, look at the trees. <laughs> Let me know what instance you end up in. I can show you the mount. Okay, well, give me give me a little bit. Let me get through this story, and then when I find a good place to pause, I'll I'll, I'll do that. 
Amazing, absolutely amazing. We've literally stepped into the Yaqui legend. Oh, the music is nice. Whichever reflection this may be, it would seem the barrier between here and the source is thin in Yachtel. But this is nice. What the heck? Uh, whichever reflection this may be, it would seem the barrier between here and the source is thin. That would explain the Yaqui's visions and location of the gate. Hey, Aaronvel, that volcano over there, you don't suppose it's real, is it? No way. An actual volcano spewing forth lava in the middle of a city? I'd like to see that. <laughs> hey, you never know. Look, there's a path down there. Let's see where it goes. Time to explore. Oh my god. Oh! Oh, cute! Also, Payne, thank you so much for the five gifted subs. Appreciate you. Worst zone? Oh no, you don't like it? Take lots of screenshots? Oh, I plan to. <laughs> Thanks, Sean. Thank you guys for the follows. And Payne, thank you so much for the five gifted subs on Twitch. That was sweet of you. Good morning. Hope your day is starting out well. It's starting out amazing. This is my morning of being able to go to a whole new area. Look how pretty. I want to know what this is. It looks like, uh, maybe it's the headquarters. Check out its emotes. What can it do? There's no way I'm going to be getting this. <laughs> I never, I never level up any other class besides, uh, Scholar. Oh, that's cute. You're about to hop into 14 yourself. Did you finish the MSQ already, Pain? Thanks, bro. Okay. All right, let's go. I need to go a tune. Thanks for showing me the mount. Oh, did you know if you press control up or down on the keyboard, you can angle the camera? Like this? Oh, control up. Oh, I actually didn't know that. <laughs> no, I didn't know that. Oh, you're level 98, got sidetracked doing everything else. Hey, that's fine. Take your time. Once Dawn Trail is done, it's, you know, done. I mean, we'll get more stuff, but, you know, later. Cool. I like all the palm trees here. The music is so pretty. The music in this expansion is so good. It's so like peaceful. Is it because it's nighttime? I wanna hear what it sounds like during the day. I guess they don't get a sun or a moon though. That would throw me off. It's like Alaska. Um. All right, let's see what she says. <laughs> it's strange, though. I've never been to this place before. It somehow makes me feel nostalgic. Is it referencing Final Fantasy IX because the music's being played? Unlike Everkeep, with all its advanced technology, here it's brick and stone. It's like... We've traveled to the past. It reminds me of like the yellow brick road. <laughs> the differences may be more superficial than you think. Take a good look at the buildings around us. There's electrobe everywhere along with myriad contraptions. Like how Sphine projects her image onto soldiers, I believe this city appearance is artificial. Oh, it's all fake? Oh, it's all fake! This Aetherite is identical to the one in Everkeep, is it not? This suggests that this place is Alexandrian. 
This would seem a fair assumption. In light of all of this, could it be the city is ever keeps missing 12th level? Well, makes sense. Welcome, friends. Welcome. Who are you? <laughs> My name is Constancy, and I, and like you, I am an endless, like you, oh, he doesn't know, Constancy, Constancy, we've been, we have been recreated from the memories of those who have exhausted their souls, the departed, in other words, great effort is taken to ensure the integrity of your memory, so it will feel no different from when you were flesh and blood. Go along with it for now. <laughs> what is that face? This kind of reminds me of what um, Emmett did. Why am I forgetting that area? What that area is called where he basically reconstructed his world. What was that? What is that area called again? Amarat. Yeah, it reminds me of Amarat. Does it not remind y'all of Amarat? Kind of? Like, everybody's memory, you know? Well, kind, you know. I'm a caretaker here at Living Memory, City of the Endless, and it is my pleasure to provide guidance to newcomers such as your good selves. City of the Endless? At a glance, this seems to be many different facilities. What kind of place is this? Simply put, it's a recreational attraction. The city is divided into four areas, each of which captures scenery that once defined our continent. In this way, we ensure that what is lost is not forgotten, that all precious memories endure forevermore. In Everkeep's early days, this place was used by the living, but it was made a haven for the endless hundreds of years later. Oh. Now then, if you would please follow me, I shall give you a guided tour. Do take care, as wildlife brought here for preservation roams freely. Uh, hold on a moment. While a tour would be interesting, it's Fiend that we've come to see. Oh, you wish to meet the Queen. In that case, you're in luck. It was just announced that Her Majesty will enter into a slumber, but there is still time. A slumber? If you try calling to her before the meso terminal at the center of the city, she will likely appear. I'm not sure how things work around here, but let's head to this meso terminal. Yeah, no time to dilly dally. <laughs> Welcome to Disneyland. <laughs> it does it does remind me of an amusement park. Our thanks, Constancy. We'll, we'll take you up on the tour next time. I shall look forward to it. Good luck seeing out Her Majesty. Uh, press Control Shift N. Ah, oh, thank you. Okay. True doesn't wait. Uh, okay, hold on. Oops, I didn't catch up on y'all's chat. Um, there is a lot of Final Fantasy IX references in this area in general. Okay. Yeah, doesn't it remind y'all of Amara? Amara? No? It's basically reconstructed. Sphine is kind of doing something similar to Asians on a similar, a smaller scale, I guess, by joining her world with ours. She's an Asian. Maybe. All right, uh, where are we going? Well, this place is so cool. Hold on, I want to look around before we go anywhere. They can wait. Oh, here's the repair unit. Actually, that's probably a good idea. Let's repair my accessories. <laughs> what are they selling? What? Look at this. <laughs> oh yeah, the squirrel! Wait, that makes sense why the squirrel outfit, why you can get the squirrel outfit now, and why the squirrel is here. Oh, here's the gemstone trader. Okay. They're striking dummies. 
Okay, so we got yellow area, red area, blue, and green. Let's go to the yellow area. The earth area, I'm guessing? Earth? I don't know. Whoa, look at it. Oh. Uh. Okay, maybe not. All right, well, let's look at it from afar. Ah, the amusement park section. <laughs> Darn it. <laughs> and then this leads to the volcano. Wait, maybe I can go? Hold on, maybe I have to talk to them? Nope. Okay, maybe I can't go yet. They are making me focus. Okay, so that goes a volcano. <laughs> Hi, Jess. How are you? Good morning. I hope y'all are having a good Tuesday. What does the green area go to? <gasps> Ooh. Got the, all the water. Oh, wait, no, this. Where does this go to? It goes over here, I think. Maybe where all the trees are? Or maybe there are hot air balloons. I don't know. And then the water area goes to that area. Cool. All right, let me go to the water. Blah, 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 blah. Ooh. Cool. I like how everything is so colorful. Wait, can we talk? Oh, we can. Like the chamber in the sky deep cenote, the electrope here produces a, cr a strong golden light, a difference in energy levels, perhaps. Yeah, this is pretty. Sunday was the hottest day in record history on average across the globe. Really? My Tuesday's almost over. Oh, well, good evening. <laughs> good evening. Okay, let's talk to Cryo. Ooh, I like it. Yeah, I like this area. This probably will be my favorite. I wonder, can the Endless venture elsewhere, or can they only survive here? Oh, that's a good question. Look how pretty. But then it just, they don't really get to boat that, <laughs> that far. Okay, I'll keep walking. Here's Aaronville. The plants are real as far as I can tell. Not everything is an illusion. Oh, so the plants are real. Okay. Good. Need some oxygen in Disney World, Disneyland. Who am I missing? Who do we not talk to? Where's, oh, she's over here. Okay. Cool. A giant hole in this graphics card. Steen, are you there? Wake up. Can't sleep yet. If you are, say something. We need to talk. Woo! Sphine. Hmm. That you should come here. I haven't known you long, Sphine, but I know you have a good heart. Your love for your people is proof of this. I can't let you do what you're trying to do. And deep down, I don't think you want to do it either. I want a world without suffering. 
A world where nothing is lost. Would that such a place existed. But the endless only grow in number, and ever more life forces needed to sustain them. Within the barrier, we have managed to curb the cycle of rebirth these few hundred years. But we've reached the limit. is why I looked to interdimensional fusion to harvest what we needed from your world from your people and with the key we will have it <laughs> and once you've plundered our world of ether what then will you do the same to others right all men eventually die if you make endless of everyone you will never have enough ether to sustain them right ever you but prolong the inevitable exactly that's what i was saying yesterday because i was like what is she gonna do go to all the worlds there's only so much yeah it'll last them probably like thousands of years right but it's even then it'll run out do people really want to live that long I want a world with unlimited bikin supply, but we can't always get what we want, Sphine. <laughs> bikin. If you would nevertheless persist in this folly, we must stand against you. Yeah, you tell For her, Cryo. People we cannot lose. Places to which our hearts belong. Right? Paper clips? What do you mean? What? Lamachi, I would have loved nothing more than to work hand in hand with you to tend our nations. But fate is cruel. By the time it had brought us together, our futures had already been written. Can't have my soul. I'm still using it. Don't tell Sfeed that. She's gonna kill you. She's gonna suck up your soul with the little sucker vacuum, Dyson vacuums, you know? And she's gonna toss your memories away and just take your soul and be like, here you go. Person that has lived a thousand years already, or I guess a hundred years, however long it's been. <laughs> Beware the Dyson vacuums. <laughs> the kind and gentle Queen Sphine was too weak to serve her people. And so she will serve them no more. What? What do you mean? I will erase all memories of the living Sphine. She who has cursed me with this soft and powerless nature. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Has the AI gotten... S what? Wait, has the AI gotten smart and realized that being all cushy cushy doesn't get you anywhere? At least, well, for what her intentions are. Wait, what? Wait, this is weird! Freed from conscience, I shall become a ruler that can protect Alexandria. A devourer of worlds. Man, we can't catch a break. When two nations <laughs> cannot protect their own without doing harm to the other, there can only be one resolution. It is a hard truth. Oh, no. <laughs> but one you understand, don't you? <laughs> Whoa. So the th stuff is about to go crazy, I guess. Um... What is she going to be? What is she going to turn into? Uh, then let's resolve this. I'll protect my world and all the others. This evil is not inevitable. Find another way. Yeah, find another way. <laughs> Skynet, fiend. 
Ooh. I'm afraid we're out of time. The process has begun, and it cannot be stopped. Oh my god, that freaked me out. What the heck? Why can't they just stay cute? <laughs> we've already faced the spare personified. Yeah, we've already faced you know, well, I don't want to say it from Inwalker, but we've already faced the stuff in Inwalker, so like, come at me. What do you got? Beware of Kryle's paintbrush. Ooh, that freaked me out. Meso terminal memory deletion in progress. Oh no! Meso terminal memory deletion in progress. Upon completion, interdimensional fusion will commence. Oh no. Nice peaceful song. Nothing bad's gonna happen now. <laughs> it just went from going crazy to soft, nice music. Um, don't tempt me. <laughs> Have you tried turning her off and back on? That would be such a good idea. How about just off permanently? She doesn't need to be turned on. Hi, Jeremy. Just, just stay off. Ugh, what are we to do now? Dang it! I felt that I had some- I had come to understand Sphine, but I'm still clueless. Utterly clueless. Clueless? Well, she's a robot. How are you gonna- how are you gonna talk to a robot? Like, they're not human. You can't get through to a robot. Right? Or AI. Whatever we're gonna call her. Those who live forever. You would, okay, before we like do this quest, you know, I feel most people, do the endless, are they even happy? Like they can't have kids. They won't, I mean, I don't know. I mean, maybe a lot of people are, don't want kids. That's not what I'm, I guess they can't like grow. You know, they stay themselves for all eternity. Like, doesn't that get old? Are they actually happy? I don't know. We'll find out. Yeah, they won't age, get sick, or die. Not that they really want that, you know, but... I don't know. We'll find out. It doesn't seem like we can do much else here. Let's return to the Aetherite for now. Let's go talk to the citizens. Let's go talk to the Endless. Besides the Constancy. He seemed happy. So maybe they're all happy. I don't know. The caretaker, Constancy, perhaps he can tell us more about this business of Sphine going into a slumber. Yeah, let's go. <clears throat> I love the names that they came up with. Like, the nostalgia. I love her name. I don't know Constancy. I don't know about that name. What are some of the other names that we've heard? I like their names. Yeah, it gets so old. You know? And like, can they sleep? Do they sleep? Do they sleep? Do they eat? Right? Do they eat? Can they eat? Like, do they get hungry? We'll find out. Sorry, I ask a lot of hypothetical, or not hypothetical, I ask a lot of questions I don't really want the answer to, so just heads up. <laughs> Let's do the same thing we did yesterday and the day before. And the day yeah, I know, right? Boring. That volcano can only bring me so much joy. He's nowhere in sight. Perhaps he has taken other recent arrivals on a tour. Looking for someone, are you? Yes, we... He was just here... He was here just earlier. A fellow named Constancy. Wait, what? Ooh, who's she? Hello, everyone. You made it here, as I knew you would. Who's this, babe? 
Wait, is that who I think it is? Wait, is this Aaron Bell's mom? Oh my god, it's Kof Kiwa! But she's not a robot. What the? Look at her. What? Whoa, Aaron Bell, your mom is a MILF. <laughs> None other. This is the first time some of you are seeing me in the proverbial flesh, isn't it? Feast your eyes, then. She who was controlling that unassuming machine was a ravishing Shatona maiden. Oh, she knows she's hot. <laughs> that was a bit much, wasn't it? Ignore me. Mom, we're the same age. <laughs> so it was true that you're here means... I tried to tell you so many times, but my courage always failed me. I am indeed an endless, have been for quite a while now. Do they, do they become endless when they died? Like, so she died as a hot mom? Because... <laughs> or, do get, or do they get to choose? Like, I like this version best. Let's choose that. When I was young and beautiful, thank you. Not old. <laughs> Aaronville, now you've come to stop Sveen, yes? I can help with that, but I have a request to make. You know how to stop her then? Wait, she still wants to stop her? Why did I think that it went out the window? Well, there are no guarantees. You, your coming here makes it a distinct possibility. As my wish is relevant to your mission, will you hear me out? You can decide what to do afterwards. Excellent. To begin, we'll need to head to a different area. And we are. See that sentry? I'll have them grant you access to the zip line. We're going to the water area first. Ooh, this is probably going to be my favorite place. Zip line. What is that? A fun little mode of transport. They don't see much use though, as we endless can teleport freely within living memory. Oh, surely teleportation. <laughs> what? This particular line will take you to a zone called Canal Town. I'll be waiting for you there. Canal Town. Oh, let me just teleport everywhere. With that endearing pushiness. It could only be Kafkewa. Let's go. There will be an explanation of why she's a hot mom. Now we know why he's anti-social. All of his friends <laughs> just want his mom. <laughs> he's like, ugh. <laughs> okay. I think I knew by this point uh, about what had the same issue. Oh, and Warhammer? They solved it by having their people concentrate on one craft at the time, mastering it completely, and then move on to the next. Yeah, give them something to do. That makes sense. Delirium, thanks for the 98 months. Hi. But even that could get old, right? Cause like, how much stuff can you possibly make? Right? Maybe not, I don't know. I don't know, man. Hope everyone's having a lovely day! We are! How are you doing? <laughs> Alright, Canal Town. Canal Town. Hmm, oh, you don't seem to be- Bleep bloop! Error! Error! User registration confirmed! That's right! I bid you welcome to Canal Town, the resort of romance and relaxation. Please enjoy your stay. Romance? Oh, that's the other thing. Do you just have multiple husbands and wives if you live forever? You're like, okay, I've spent a hundred years with this guy. Like, I'm over him now. You know? Divorce. Alright, time to go check out this other guy. <laughs> Carol, thanks for the follow. Ooh, listen to the music. Dun, 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 dun. What a charming place. It is really charming. That is, like, really pretty. I want to go talk to the residents, darn it. Oh, truly mastering it would take thousands of years? Hmm. If that's your thing, then yeah. That's them, the people Sphine strives to protect.
They look happy. So they are happy. Okay, so they're not miserable. Unless they're putting up a front. People pleasing. So, what's this request of yours? I want you to erase us. Erase the endless. <sighs> what a very interesting this thing to say after we're like, oh, they look so happy. Erase us. Oh man, that's so sad though. He's gonna have to erase his mom. <laughs> what? With this happy music in the background? What? <laughs> oh. Oh no, our Mando! But this is spoilers for you. I can't wait to get this far. I'm still stuck on the Hildebrand missions. <laughs> Yo, you got it. Keep going. Take your time, though. It's okay. It's all about the journey, right? It's all about the journey. Just chilling and enjoying content. Thanks, Delirium. Maybe they can help here. True, Sam. True. Um. Okay, well, that's a devastating thing to hear from your mom. But she hasn't been here that long, has she? Maybe? I don't really know. They'll explain it, right? So, we'll figure it out. I didn't read the name of this quest. Oops. Oh, come now. Spare me those gloomy faces. Being alive, you're the only ones who can do this. And we won't have a better opportunity than now. While Queen Sveen is busy preparing to initiate interdimensional fusion. It's wrong to sacrifice others to sustain the endless. This I firmly believe. But talking to you now, you seem as real as any of us. And if you need an answer right away, I don't know if I can give it. Is there a reason we need to act so soon? Also, what made her be the spokesperson? Of like everybody, of all the endless, you know? I'm hoping this is reviewer reward so I can get that mount. You can! You just have to be here for, I don't know how many hours. Uh, X number of hours. Actually, hold on. I have a command for it. Hold on. Drops. There it is. There's the link. How many? Six hours. <laughs> a long time. Six hours. Jeez. Aw, oh, thanks Starcross for the follow. I wasn't expecting Kakiwa to be hot, <laughs> me either. Is there a reason we need to act so soon? Because, as you've just said, it's wrong to sacrifice others to sustain us. Remember, we need life force. Other forms of ether don't cut it. In the beginning, we managed with the ether of those who died in the barrier, but as our numbers grew, there began to be a shortage. That's why Queen Sveen looked to other sources. Even the ether I'm composed of may have come from the victims of the attack on Tuliolo. Yeah, that would that would pain me to know that somebody died so I could stay alive, right? Like, I would feel so guilty. I can't bear that thought. Can't bear to exist because someone died. Right? We'd probably feel the same way if we were in your shoes, but what exactly are you asking us to do? In each zone, there is an enormous data storage device called a terminal. That is where our memories are kept. So we just attack the terminal? If you shut down a terminal, the memories within will disappear, along with those endless created from them. Do they just drop dead or do they just like vanish? Oh, that would be miserable. But does this need to be done now? Can't we stop Sphine first and then take it from there? 
It's precisely in order to stop Sveen that it must be done now. Because then she won't have a will to keep going and doing this, right? Her own memories are stored within the Meso Terminal, which stands at the heart of living memory. As you would expect, the terminal's defenses are extremely tight, but its moments of vulnerability, such as when it has just finished calculations, which we can exploit to shut it down from within. While we wait for that opening, we erase the endless. Once we are gone, Sveen will no longer have a reason to plunder ether from other worlds. Would Sveen simply allow us to shut down the terminals? In preparation for fusion, the Meso Terminal is currently performing massive calculations while gathering energy. Even if the system notices us, it cannot easily suspend the process. Rather than doing so, I believe it will attempt to accelerate the timetable and bridge worlds before the plan can be thwarted. Okay. It wouldn't be a decision Sphine would make, wish to make, but she would be able to save those who are stored in the Meso Terminal at least. There's a sen there's sense in your strategy and in resolving to stop Sphine. We had anticipated that it might come to this, but to actually talk about erasing the endless is difficult. You needn't feel any guilt. No matter how lifelike we may seem, we endless are, but. I've never heard of this word, uh, facsimiles, facsimiles, crafted from memories. What is a fa facsimile? What is that? Six hours to go. <laughs> Thanks, Neo. I don't expect me to beat the game today. I was actually hoping to beat this game on Sunday, so then more people will be able to be here when it happens. But yeah, I'm prepared. A copy? Oh, a copy crafted from memories. Got it. Besides, stopping Sveen requires that you shut down the Meso Terminal, which sustains all of us. Sooner or later, it will need to be done. If we are to be erased, then let it be before more people come to harm. Living, breathing people with futures they deserve to experience. For real. Yeah, no way. I'm not, I wasn't planning to. I'm not planning to. Fax is the short term. Oh! I see we've met mommy. <laughs> well, do as you ask. There has to be another way. I don't want you to go. Oh, I'll do that one. I don't want you to go. That's, oh, that's sweet. No, mommy. <laughs> Well, I appreciate the thought. We can't afford to miss this chance. Do this for me, will you? Oh, it just comes, makes me do that. There has to be another way. Maybe? I'm afraid not. We spent years scouring preservation's records but found nothing. It's truly a bothersome system they've created. Oh wow, that's kind of emotional. We literally were like begging for like, there's gotta be something. No, I don't wanna do it. And then now I'm like, okay, we'll do as you ask. <laughs> oh my God. I've been playing since 2013, long time. Thank you for respecting my wish. And as a personal request, while her actions cannot be condoned, I ask that you afford Queen Sveen a measure of understanding. Know that she herself didn't choose to become an endless. It was preservation that made the choice for her. She is powerless to resist her purpose. What do you mean? The Sphene you know is an ideal that preservation brought to life. Harnessing the love the living Sphene bore for her people, they brought forth an eternal queen whose primary directive is to preserve the Endless. But as you know, the Endless consume ether. Sveen was compelled to find way, ways to procure it, and then, and that compulsion has driven her to resort to interdimensional fusion. She was made to do this. <sighs> yeah, the Final Fantasy IX music. It's nice, isn't it? 
Oh, I don't know, Ninja. But that would be cool. What else they could possibly do? I'm not sure. She's no different than a primal. Kinda, yeah. Um, what? Are you telling me the original fiend wouldn't have chosen this? What the queen might have done, only her, her, only she herself would know. But the scientists of preservation has have vanished, leaving their created queen to walk alone. They vanished. Where did they vanish to? Just died, she means? Because they're all, you know. So as you go about your mission, think not that you've, you're stopping a ruthless villain, but rather that you're relie relieving a troubled soul of her burden. All right, Kafkiwa, we understand now, both your reasoning and your feelings. But before we erase the endless, I'd like to know them. I'd like to know what she fights tooth and nail for. If we're going to reject someone's beliefs, let it be after we've come to understand them. No! Stop! This is gonna make me sad though, cause we're like, we're gonna have to kill you and we're gonna learn about you first and then we're gonna, well, we're not killing them, but, well, I guess we are. Freaking Final Fantasy, freaking Yoshi P. How dare you, <laughs> how dare you? This is a lesson I learned from the Rite of Succession. This is not the same, girl. This is not the same. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, I'm not looking forward to this. <laughs> I die. Good morning. I realize we're pressed for time, but it's all right. if it's all right with you, I want to meet as many people as I can. Oh, my God. You truly are Google Jaja's kitten. Well, the calculations will take a while still. It should be fine if we do this as we proceed to the terminals. I'm with you. We might not be able to learn everything, but it would nevertheless be meaningful if we could glimpse the hearts of those who inhabit this place before we set them free. Do they, do they know? Will they know what we're doing so they can like make prepar preparations, maybe just at least say bye to the ones that they love or so oh my god that's gonna make me sad i'm already getting upset this is horrible hi miwo spoilers okay yeah don't answer that if it's a spoiler but still that's sad this is gonna be sad i'll leave you to it then when we when you've finished here come and find me at the fountain near that big clock tower how dare you freaking Cisco, thanks for the follow. Right, let's split up and find some locals to speak with. <laughs> yeah, let's go do that. What server do I play on? Excalibur. It really is a lovely place. You should run along and enjoy it while you can. Poor Aaronville. He doesn't... <laughs> I laugh. I'm not laughing. I'm laughing because I'm hurting. Because that's so sad. He's going to have to raise his mo... Ah! <laughs> Stop. <laughs> okay. SUV, thanks so much for the follow. I love this game too. Oh. Oh, okay. Can we talk to him? I will not object to your decision, and as my mother says, you needn't feel any guilt. Yet I admit I myself am still conflicted to have such doubts after coming all this way. It's laughable, isn't it? <laughs> no? Or yet? No, but... Your ancestors were refugees from Lindbloom? What tales they have they must have. Lindbloom? What is Lindbloom? Thanks, Amanda. All good, don't worry. Thanks, Bruce. 
I must say, I'm starting to enjoy myself, even if it's only brief. This has the feel of a journey. A cheerful, maybe that's why they're all happy? Well now, I don't believe I've seen you around before. A newcomer, I take it. It's wonderful here, let me tell you. Why, well, I, I just bumped into a dear friend in life. And we've been whiling away the hours reminiscing. It might have been more like days, actually. You don't get a sense of time here. By the way, did you hear the announcement earlier? As much as I love this place, I wonder if Queen's Fiend can really sustain us forever. But I suppose there's no use worrying about such things. Anyway, thanks to you, we found a break in our conversation. We'll go and ride the gondola next. How many times have you rode that gondola? <laughs> okay, they seem to be oblivious. Oh look, there's that mount. Oh wait, where do I go? This way? Oh, on the bridge. Okay, it doesn't seem like they know. Oh, Lynn Bloom is a Final Fantasy IX reference. Dang it, maybe the next game I play is Final Fantasy IX. <laughs> Yeah, I was told, I saw it. Somebody said that you get it after you get everything to level 100. That ain't gonna be me. <laughs> oh my god, Jesus. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, uh, hello there. Taking in the sights of Canal Town too, are you? Both my wife and I must I just adore this place. Oh, that's his wife. We had become estranged in life, she and I, but being here gave us the chance to reconcile. I couldn't be more grateful for the chance to spend these blessed little moments together again. I have no more regrets. Whether Her Majesty's plan succeeds or no, I can rest with peace in my heart. Well, we shall continue on our way, but we hope to see you again. Till next time. Cryo. A part of me hopes that my parents are here too, but it's probably too much to ask for. I hope they are too, Cryo. But, but also, I kind of don't want that for her either. I don't know, because that's sad. She's going to meet them for the first time in her life, and then she's going to have to say bye. Limbloom was also mentioned by Sveen. It's the nation they were at war with. Oh yeah, Limbloom made the super weapon. The what? You there, have you tried the popcorn from that stall? What stall? Popcorn? Oh, over there. You have it? You don't know what you're missing. I consider myself something of a gourmand. And believe me when I say the classic salt flavor is amazing. The saltiness is simply exquisite. That's the only way to describe it. Once you've had a mouthful, it's impossible to stop until it's all gone. And after you've tried that, I urge you to seek out other stalls. There are lots of them everywhere, offering all manner of delights. For another recommendation off the top of my head, the ice cream over in Asili Volcani is so smooth and rich and... Just thinking about it has given me a hankering. That's it. I'm going to go and have some right now. So they can eat. I got that answered. They can eat, chat. And they really like the food. So that's good. They enlist them to eat the food with relish, but it couldn't be real, could it? Well, that's what I thought. It looks real. What about this guy? Aristus. Arrest it. Oh. Arrest this. Welcome, welcome. Have a browse and let me know when you're ready to order. I like the popcorn. <laughs> you're here on that lady's recommendation as well, I take it. Good little advertiser. I have been wondering what the endless do for sustenance, so it seemed a good opportunity to learn. A hole! Is this your first time eating it? Or eating, is it? The food here is created using ether and memory data. To you, to us, it tastes just like the real thing. So how about it? Would you care for some popcorn? 
Let's give it a try, shall we? So wait, can you just conjure up anything you've eaten before? And then it tastes like the real thing? That's kind of cool. That's a cool experience, right? My, I be eating Wagyu every day. <laughs> That's the spirit. Find a table you like and I'll bring it right out. And lest you worry, there's no charge. All the food is free here. And it's free. What? Heck yeah. What would y'all eat? What would y'all conjure up to eat? <laughs> Wagyu. Something super expensive I've had. Food created with memory data. How will this taste to the living, I wonder? Very interesting. Probably like dirt, maybe. Or maybe... Well, as they say, there's only one way to find out. Ooh, crunchy sound. You sample a handful of popcorn. While it has texture, you can detect no taste whatsoever. Yikes. Well, at least it was good for the endless. Good God, it tastes like nothing at all. <laughs> They're all watching. You have to pretend. You have to pretend, Graha. Yes, pretend. Er, I, I mean, it's amazing. I've never had such tasty popcorn. Hee <laughs> hee. <laughs> it's not our best seller for nothing. And what about you? Oh no. Do I have a? Do I have the chance to say? Oh, I don't even say anything bad. It just says it's a fantastic. The saltiness is exquisite. It's. Interesting. <laughs> the saltiness is exquisite. I guess we can't, we can't, but I, I, it bothers me that I'm lying, but also, I don't know. Ha ha ha, it's always special watching newcomers eat for the first time. Oh yeah, they also did that too. Oh yeah, when we had the bicken. They're just like the people of Everkeep. Their communal spirit, their delighted smiles, exactly the same. Thank you for your custom. Come again anytime. By the way, prior to this, a young man caught my eye near the canal. He appeared to be searching for something, and rather frantically. Did you perchance see him too? No? I must say I'm curious as what has him so flustered. Could you help me look for the fellow? My thanks. Let's head to where I saw him. Okay, so far, I'm doing good emotionally. I thought it was gonna be more sad because like I thought they would know that they were gonna die. I mean some of them kind of are like, oh like whether it works or it doesn't work then you know I still have peace in my heart. Like that one couple said that but yeah. Oh by the way Hades, could you, even if you censor it, could you just not say it at all? Just say like freaking or something instead please. I don't see the drops enable my inventory. You don't? You have to wait at least like a... What's the first one? The first hour? Oh wait, you saying in your inventory. Are you on mobile, Wolf? I know there were some people earlier um, saying that there was like a little glitch. Like even though it's not showing it, it's still there. They don't show. Can I watch the stream while it's tabbed? I'm sure you can, but I'm not sh I'm I'm honestly not 100%. Check your messages later or notifications. Oh, there you go. All right, let's go find this person by the water. I mean, it makes me sad, but I, I thought I was gonna be more emotional. But, oh, the, he's over here. Oh, can I swim in this? Oh yeah, I can. It's clean. I'm gonna jinx myself, aren't I? 
It would seem he is no longer in the vicinity. Let us keep looking. Whatever it is that troubles him, perhaps we can be of assistance. I don't like the name of the next quest. And Serenity and Sorrow. <laughs> <laughs> I cannot claim to know exactly how Endless behaved, but hopefully our man has not gone far. Let us split up to search for him. He is... He is an Eldite with fair hair. Oh, an Eldite. An Eldite? It's glowy. Look how glowy it is. Are these all charms? Oh look, this is like Queen's Fiends like themed, I guess. And like her crown. Cute. <laughs> this squirrel's everywhere. Alright, where I'm looking, I'm looking. Oh, here we go. Fair haired man. Found you. God, strike me down. We re reunite again, again after a hundred years. And what should happen? Yes, my apologies, but I'm in some haste. If you have something to say, please make it brief. Your friend noticed that I seem troubled. So you've been looking for me? What kind souls you are. I've lost something important. The engagement ring intended for my beloved. A lanky, monkey-like fiend stole it from me. After running hither and thither, I managed to locate the beast in yonder square, but I'm uncertain how I should take the ring back. Once I might have considered fighting for it, but given the shortage of ether, the danger is simply too great. If I were to be struck down and my essence dispersed, I am not like to be remade for a long time. I cannot risk that, not after my beloved has finally been given form again after a hundred years. Aww. Aww. Wait, I didn't even think about that. They, the people that they love probably aren't even here yet. Oh, and it's been a hundred years? Wow, they must have lived a really long, happy life. Though it pains me to do so, I shall give up on the ring, but I thank you for your kind concern. No, let's get the ring. Survey the designated location, defeat the fiend to obtain a stolen engagement ring. Come here, you fiend. Wait, what's going on? Oh, okay, never mind. Just looking at my, my in-game chat. It is so fun! It's so good, Christian! It's so good. I love this game so much. What's <laughs> Becky? Tingle booty, tingle booty, jingling everywhere. Tingle booty, tingle booty, Thanks for the 666! Six, six, six. Specky, thank you! Everywhere. Jiggling everywhere. We're jiggling only everywhere. just the beginning? Oh, great. You're the best. You're the best. Bink, keep being pop. You too, Specky. That was sweet of you. Thank you. All right, let's find this wedding ring, or engagement ring. <gasps> That's the monkey. Get the monkey. Creepy blue ghost monkey. A thieving Torbalan. Get back the engagement ring you stole, you fiend. Winnie, hi. Thanks for the six months! How are you doing? Happy Tuesday! Good morning, or afternoon, or evening. Hello! Alright. Do we get it? I think we got it. Okay, let's. Did we get it? Oh, we did! We did get this stolen engagement ring! Wow, that's a big stone! He probably got it for free. <laughs> But then he got, he probably can choose which one, you know? I'm guessing you can choose based off like your memory maybe? Oh, it is you again. Was there something else? Here you go. Here's the stolen engagement ring. 
Wait, will we, be, will we be able to see him propose? Good heavens! This is the ring! You took it back from that beast? Thank you! Thank you ever so much! I see you've already resolved the situation. You must be the friend who first noticed me. I owe you my gratitude as well. My name is you. You mm, you place you place maybe you place. I was planning to propose to my beloved with the ring, and thanks to you, I can do just that. Well, well, that is cause to rejoice. Rejoice indeed. Did the two of you meet here? No, we were sweethearts in life, but I died young, and she only followed me decades later. Even then, our reunion wasn't yet to be, for the ether shortage means not everyone can be recreated. I had to wait until, but recently, to see her again. A reunion beyond death. Such a thing would be possible here, I suppose. How nice. I assume you're newly arrived. While our memories are stored in the terminals, less than one in 10 of us have been given form at present. I myself have been reincarnated three times now and even, or in each time there seems to be fewer of us. It's fairly a miracle that my beloved and I could meet. Oh. I see, given the circumstances, the chances of existing concurrently with an acquaintance would be slim indeed, and slimmer still for a loved one. Truly, that is why I decided to do that which I failed to do in life, ask her for her hand. With her regulator, she has spared the sadness of my death. Even so, she never took another man for the rest of her days. That's surprising. She told me that, although she couldn't remember me afterwards, she could never shake the feeling that someone precious had been a part of her life. The sweet fool. Oh, that's really romantic. What <laughs> the heck? The ring represents a yearning I have long carried, though I know full well it is only a, con a construct like these bodies of ours. There is a part of me that wonders if this is wrong not that I expect us to exist forever, even in this form, but to be with the, lo the one I love once again and make her happy. However wrong this world may be, I have nothing but gratitude for Queen, Queen Sphine. Dang. But they're only going to be with each other for a little while until I pl unplug the, the terminal. <laughs> Now, if you'll excuse me, I shall go and make that proposal. I've made her wait long enough as it is. This isn't much, but please accept it as a token of my thanks. Tickets? For the gondola, to ensure that order is preserved, we must observe the proper way of doing things even here. It's very much like Queen's Fiend to make it so, is it not? Take care, my friends, and see to it you have no regrets. <laughs> Did he just do the peace sign? Aww. No regrets. Well, I think it's about time we rejoin the others, but what do you say we go by gondola? I expect it would be possible to do so once the terminal... It won't be per possible to do so once the terminal has been shut down. Come then, let us seek a vessel at the pier. Well, that was a nice, that was a nice story. That was nice. I'm happy they're all happy here. We can push off at uh, any time. Mind the gap when you board. <gasps> We're gonna be on a boat! Is Graha gonna sing for me? No? Is the gondolier gonna sing? 
Raw date time. <laughs> it does feel like it. Oh, how nice. Got some flowers on the boat too. Ooh, with all the little... I'm going to call them fireflies. Let's just say they're fireflies. Ah. How nice. <gasps> is that the is that that's his fiance i'm assuming he did it oh that was the girl oh that's cute oh i'm happy we get to see oh when the moon hits your eye like a big pizza pie can you imagine me saying that <laughs> that'd be you great remember what oh. i said to you before all this That life is a series of journeys. That you must be true to yourself. For indeed, there's no telling what awaits. I don't know about you, but I certainly didn't expect to behold such sights. The future is as fluid as the water beneath us. Truly. Aww. Tell me, my friend. Have you ever wished to be reunited with someone who has passed away? I have. I do. But I think, above all else, I wish that they had lived. If only for one more day. <laughs> one more day. A joyous one, if I could choose. Stop! <laughs> I did all that I could to make it happen. I tried everything. And spared nothing. Suck them back in. In that manner, I was able to keep some few souls out of harm's way. But so... So many were beyond my power to save. What would I have done then, had I this? Aww, and you, God. can you imagine yourself spending eternity here, knowing no loss? Isn't this area beautiful? Yeah. Wow, that was a nice scene. A little depressing, but that was nice. Who do you think he was referring to? It could be so many people. Us? Why us? We're alive. It was nice to chat with you again, my friend. It feels as though it has been some time. Having met Endless like you, Clace, I feel I've come to understand Sveen a little better. Anyone would wish those dear to them a long and happy future, and she bears the burden of this desire for all of her subjects. Yet, as Cryle said, we too have people we cannot lose. Come, miss, we can get to the fountain via yonder bridge. That was such a nice scene, though, with the gondola and everything. Oh, you're right. You're right. Oh my god. Hi, Orca. I forgot, Eld. Oh, yeah. All of her parents on the first. Oh. Maybe. Edwarden, thanks for the 100 bits. Thank you. That was a beautiful scene. Oh, that was nice. Stop it. Who touched? Don't. Get away from me, robot. Leave me alone. Ooh, my stuff's selling. 
These trees are pretty. Er, lights. Light. There's the fountain. This area is really nice. I like it. Uh, we can talk to him again. Now that I look at it closely, the clock has no hands on account of there being no need to keep track of time, perhaps. Oh yeah, you're right. It doesn't have any hands. How is it a clock then? <laughs> 211 Gil Insane Profit. I know. <laughs> Thanks, Orca. <laughs> After I level up all my stuff, I want to figure out how people make money in this game because I think it's be going to become an obsession of mine. I was just clearing out my inventory and I was lazy, so I was like, I'll just put everything on my retainer <laughs> instead of just go to the NPC and NPC it. <laughs> Gatherers and crafters. Yeah, I know. I'm saying like once I level everything to 100, like I want to figure out what I can do to make money. Finished talking to the locals, have you? I've been keen to hear your impressions fishing. Cryo and Arenvel are still out and about, it seems. So, how was it? What are your impressions of those you met? It was great. Everyone was so happy. Just talking to them made me happy, too. What about you? Gotta re-encount everything. Sweethearts reunited, that's a miracle. While it is a miracle after a fashion, the system strives to make such encounters possible. If you meet someone you know, it's probably not by chance. The terminals hold information on unfulfilled longings and use them to orchestrate reunions like you places. Oh, wow, smart. I see that the terminals can do this is impressive indeed, but there is one thing I do not understand. According to you, Clay's his beloved passed away decades after he did, yet they appeared to be of like age. Oh, here we go. Ah, yes, people are not necessarily recreated as they were when they passed away. The appearance of an endless, I speculate, reflects the happiest period in their life. Oh, that's why she's hot. <laughs> Is that the case for you then? Not that I can tell how old you are as slowly as your people's age. Is this like when she like had Aaronville? Is that the happiest time? I'm not sure to be honest. I have so many happy times it's hard to know which one applies. Oh. I'm insufferably inquisitive whether it's nature or tech technology I can't help but want to learn more about the world around me you might say that discovery is what gives me joy it made me happy in life and may have been a blessing afterwards okay so she's saying that she was always happy um Aaronville's <laughs> mom has got it going on. Stop it. Cooking buff food can be very profitable. That would be a good idea. Orange scripts are decent right now because of the amount from script vouchers. Okay, well, I'm not there yet. I'm only level 60, so give me a bit to level up first, and then I'll ask again. How do I make money? The other endless are content with what they have here, you see. They don't develop the urge to leave. And I was so determined to see the world again that I taught myself how to gain control of a vessel and ventured outside. Heh, <laughs> you're a proper rebel. Well, that's enough about me for now. While we wait for Cryo and Eleneshpa, yeah, I have a favor to ask of you. As you may have noticed, most of the fountains here aren't running. That's because despite its shiny appearance, the city is centuries old and everything is dreadfully run down. The fountains apparently used to put on magnificent shows and I was hoping that we could get them working again. 
Giving the control units a, a douse of ether should be enough to restore the circuits and switch them on. But being an endless, I'm unable to do that. I realize this is a, self a selfish request, but at the but at the last, I'd like to treat the people here to the display. Just leave it to us. I'd love to see the show myself. Night. Thank you. The control units are built into the surrounding lamp posts. If you tend to a few of them each, you'll be done before you know it. Once the fountains are fixed, we can round up um, Aaronville and Cryo and head to the hydro terminal together. <laughs> So the time is nigh. Come, let us see it set to it. Okay. Not bad. So wait, the people that have their memories stored here, can they always stay here? Or can they go anywhere? I'm assuming they can go anywhere. Dilapidated control unit. There you go. They could do the same thing she did if they bothered to learn how to. Uh, they could do the same thing she did. Like, what, venture out into the world? Ooh, really, Pain? Not ludicrous, but steady. Hey, steady's great. We switched on the circuits like you asked. Thank you, everyone. Hopefully, this does the trick. Thanks, shot. Oh, oh, there it goes. Oh. It's beautiful. <coughs> Is this supposed to be like Las Vegas? <laughs> now that I think about it. Final Fantasy Nine. I've never seen meets anything Las like Vegas. <laughs> kinda like how we had Texas and kinda like New York. Kinda Cyberpunk New York. Wow. With all the lights and all the weird attractions. Mm. Beautiful. Begging your pardon, but I'm looking for a child, a small Shabrali girl. Have you seen her by chance? You... you are Namika, aren't you? 
It's me, Wuklamat. Don't you recognize me? Oh, what am I to do? The child and I, we aren't related by blood, but she's as dear to me as my own. I know, that's sad to know that this was our happiest time was looking after her. Oh. It's all right. You found her. I'm here. You? Could it be? Uh, yes, Namika. You know these eyes, this voice. It's me, Uklamat. It is you! Oh, how silly of me! But if you're here, then that means... No, no. I'm still alive. <laughs> oh, good, good. Thank the gods for that. At least she, she believed but it. What power has brought us together again? Aww. This isn't a dream, is it? Because it's like her mom. <laughs> it's not a dream. Aww. Or rather, it is a dream come true. I so want to hear your voice one more time. Just look at you, my Wuklamat. Stronger and more assured than I've ever seen. Such hazards you must have braved, and hardships endured to come so far. Aww, this is such a sweet it moment. It was tough, but I made it thanks to my friends. And to you, Namika. <laughs> Music, stop it. I'm the person I am now because you always believed in me. Because you loved me as if I were your own daughter. Thank you. Thank you. You're everything I could have asked for. The best mother. Ah, I'm so glad. She's older now. Looking back, I've had a blessed life. And it was because I was a part of yours. When I lost my child to illness, I thought I'd never know happiness again. But it rekindled in my breast the instant you smiled your little smile at me. You became my purpose, my <laughs> joy. Oh. <laughs> this is a tough. You are mine too. This is so sweet. <laughs> to have this chance to speak with you again. And leave nothing unsaid. I know not how or why, but I am grateful. So grateful. Aww. Where you must go, I cannot follow. But know that I'll always be with you. Take care of yourself. Promise me. Oh, she's wearing the bracelet. <laughs> I will. Mama. I will. Oh. Ugh. And one day, we'll meet again.
Why doesn't she just come with us the rest of the journey? <laughs> just come on, Grandma. Oh, God. Man, that's so nice. I understand why Sven cannot bear to let them go. But as painful as it is to part, we're meant to live and die. To let go and let others carry on in our stead. We can't cling to everything forever. What a beautiful way to like actually say goodbye to someone though. She's lucky she got to say bye to a me, um, to her. Oh God. My eyes. Freaking who's cutting onions. Um, what about all the people that don't get that? But still, they don't, can't get it, but. <laughs> that was a beautiful scene. Let's keep moving. Oh my God, the fact that she changes, because that's the happiest that she, <laughs> That's the happiest she's been. <laughs> Stop. That's so. Oh my god. That was a beautiful scene, but oh my god, that hurt. Aw. It even replicated the bracelet. Yeah, the freaking bracelet. <laughs> Life's not fair. That's why everyone should cherish their loved ones while they're there. Yeah. But it's nice that some people got to experience that. At least in this game. Uh, I know the attention to detail. Assuming you notice it, right? Oh. Alright, let's keep going. I, I kind of hoped that we were going to see her, but I didn't know if we would. Because she kind of died recently, right? So, like, how do they become an endless? Didn't they say, oh, an ether current. Didn't they say, like, they didn't have enough ether and there's a shortage so people haven't been able to come here or something? I got confused by that. But I guess they did say, like... Oh, screw you, man. I guess they did say that the AI like lets people show up or something. I can't remember, right? They said they said that. They basically it knows especially if it's like unresolved. Ugh. And I guess they knew that maybe the AI knew that she was there, so then that's why they brought her out. <laughs> Stop. Oh, it doesn't matter anyways. That was nice. That was so sad though. Or happy. It was happy, but also sad. <laughs> bittersweet, yeah, very it's bittersweet. Yeah. Am I done crying now? How do I? What else could they show? <laughs> I'm not gonna <laughs> actually take that back. Don't sit. <laughs> How would you rate this story compared to other expansions? Oh, I don't know. I'll have to answer that once I finish it. Don't ask that. <laughs> it's true. Ugh. Made a, a wonderful memory, thank you. The show was breathtaking, was it not? I just want to talk to everybody before I talk to her. Namika looked truly happy. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Oh, Arabelle doesn't say anything. I know this isn't Final Fantasy related, but. I can't even say it.
it hits so hard after. Like, I was like, finally. Jeez, that's so sad. <laughs> Why am I getting so emotional for a video game? Stop it! <laughs> Ugh. I didn't know I was gonna cry so much today. Stop it, game. Ugh. This expansion must be good. It's brought Kylie to tears. I think I've cried in like every expansion. Ugh. God, it hits you like a ton of breaks. <laughs> if you think about it too much, darn it. Thanks, Nelson. <sighs> okay, never mind. Let's keep going. Just, <laughs> do I want to keep going? <laughs> Just to make sure, Kafkiwa, you're not going to disappear when we shut this terminal down, right? But what Tika is, isn't she? No. <laughs> Hi, I'm Phil's truck. <laughs> Time to run you over. <laughs> uh, yeah. I'm the type of person where things don't hit me until after, like, a little bit. And then I'm like, oh. Usually it takes me days to process stuff like this. Nope. That one hit me right away. Oh, I'm so sorry, Blissful. Yeah, this is definitely not a good... Or, it's not bad, but it's not a good thing to watch if you just lost someone, right? Ugh. Or if you've lost anyone, honestly. Because I was... That's what made me cry. I was thinking about my dad. So I was like, ah, that would be great. But it's just a game. It's just a game. Stop it. Not just yet, it's the arrow terminal in the northwestern zone that holds my memories. Oh no, so it's the arrow terminal. <laughs> uh, <laughs> also, I'm so sorry, Blissful, for you. Just know that we're here for you, okay, hon? I'm sorry. <laughs> Jace. Oh god, Aaronville. So she's the arrow terminal. Let's do that one last. You already know how to operate the terminal. It's the same process as the fountain's control. I leave it to I leave for you to decide when to shut it down. Doing so will cause the endless here to fade away together with their beautiful scenery. But they are they gonna know? Are they know are they gonna know what's happening? We just got to a sad part, Blue. We got to a sad part in the game, that's why. If you still wish to speak with people or see the sights, you'll want to do that first. Upon shutting down the hydro terminal, it will not be possible to restore, restore Canal Town to its present form. What? Well, is there anything else I can do? Wait, how do we come back here? Wait, does that mean next time we come back it's going to be, like, empty? What about, like, the fates and stuff? Like, well, I say that because I want a fate grind in the area. I'll see. Okay. Uh, I'll say yes. Okay, that's so sad. Okay. Oh, boy. Here we go.
Sleep tight, everyone. We really just deleted everyone. Well, I guess it's best to not tell them, right? That, this hurts. <laughs> you can say that again. I'd be lying if I said otherwise, but the only way now is forward. Namika's face, she knew. They didn't tell her, but she, I, she knew, I feel. Yeah, she probably knew more than everybody else, right? She probably hadn't been there for very long. Maybe. I don't know. Uh, the land of dreams. Don't torment yourself, so I ask this of you, so the burden lies with me. And remember, we endless are but facsimiles crafted from memories. You needn't feel guilt for erasing us. Be that as it may, it's so hard to say goodbye. It is. Nonetheless, it's our duty as the living to know and remember them. So let's pull ourselves together and keep at it. Keep seeking them out. I'd appreciate that. Come, let's head to the next zone. Yesterlin, it's called, and, the, and another zip line at the Gate of Remembrance will take you there. Yesterlin? Sounds like Disney, the Disneyland area. Ah, uh, but I ought to mention, while shutting down a terminal, should erase the endless bound to it, those with strong, unresolved feelings may linger for a time. What? If you encounter such individuals, perhaps you could lend them an ear for their hopes are proof that they once lived. God, it's like a rot. <laughs> like a poltergeist? <laughs> what the heck? Oh my god. Don't feel guilty. You just created poltergeist. Oh, okay. What is that blue? That's how they rationalize keeping the quest plus ether current quest around. Oh. Ah, that, okay. That makes sense. Okay. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Got it, and we have to help them move on. Got it. That makes sense. Okay, oh wait, let's go. Let's just leave me alone, <laughs> you stupid bird. Leave me alone. Leave me alone, I wanna teleport. Why can't I, is it still after me? No, it's not. Oh, I love that blue. <clears throat> that makes me happy. Alright, well, the blue zone is filled with my tears. That's what the lake is filled out, uh, filled with now. Or the river, whatever it is. System reboot complete. Bleep boop. Error, error. User registration co confirmed. I bid you welcome to Yesterland. Oh yeah, we are going to Disneyland. Where the dreams of children and inner children alike come true. Please, enjoy your stay. Yay, let's go delete children now. Yeah, fun. What are they going to do to me here? <laughs> what are they going to do to me? Dead people's Disneyland. 
They're not dead, okay? They're alive, sort of. Kyle, distract them with painting while we delete the kids. <laughs> Mm. Amazing. Is this also a recreation of an actual place? After a fashion, Yesterland is themed upon a period of peace before the storm surge had engulfed the world in conflict. Oh. It was a golden age for Alexandria, and they've captured it here in the form of an amusement park. Well, now, another large-scale attraction... Tell me I'm not the only one who's excited. It's exhausting just being here. It feels like the gold saucer. Kinda, yeah. I know, I have all my scholar gear on. <laughs> it's cute. Alright, tell me I'm not the only one who's excited. Let's go ride on a merry-go-round. <sighs> I'm not ashamed to admit I'm excited as well, and I imagine this is how we're intended to feel. We're excited to go delete some kids. On the far side of Yesterland is a castle, and that's where the terminal is located in the basement. I'll go on ahead and wait for you there. Take what time you need to get acquainted with the locals. Alright, this is 100% based off Disneyland. Wait, what did she say? It went away. Oops. What did she say? Have fun now. Oh. Okay. <laughs> like before, we'll speak with the endless. We'll learn what, what's dear to them before doing what we must. Right, let's start by exploring and get our bearings. Graha Tia stuff would have hit me more if I remembered that part of the story. <laughs> it's been a long time. Also, when was the Graha Tia stuff? When did that happen? Was that in Heaven's War? Endless Boy. Oh, God. Oh, hello there. Hello there. We're just talking about Sir Otis. Do you know him? He's a bit odd and doesn't get jokes, but he's really strong and can vanquish fiends in a flash. He's probably out there now fighting. Or fi he's out there right... I can't read. <laughs> Shadowbringers? It was Shadowbringers? Wait, it was Shadowbringers? Oh, is that when we learned? Was well, Realm Reborn concluded in Shadowbringers? Yeah, but the mention about how us in his timeline or whatever died... He's probably out there fighting right now. When I grow up, I want to be strong like him. Wait, don't tell me we're gonna meet Otis here. He, they know Otis. What is this? Enchanting floor fresco? No, I don't wanna go there yet. Let's do this. Old fashioned home. Cool. Will we be able to ride on the rides? Appearing to be a domicile, this building resembles those that lie submerged in heritage found. Oh, the windows are composed of a colorful array of stained glass. Oh. Oh yeah, it does look like it. ARR is how he ended up in the tower. Shadowbringers, we learn about the future and him doing time shade again to try and save everyone. Yeah, okay, with shadow bringers then. Okay. Enchanting floor fresco. This is pretty. Ooh. Beautiful artwork on the ground depicts a swirl of stars. Perhaps such a sight was once visible in the Alexandrian night sky. The Sir Otis the children spoke of calls to mind another Otis. It might be worth seeking the man out to confirm his identity. We are gonna see Otis, aren't we? But we're gonna see Otis, but Otis not as a robot. 
Wait, did did Otis do the? Wait, would Otis be here? He didn't do what Kafkiwa did. He didn't control it from out here, did he? Uh oh. <gasps> Is that him? Oh no, all the little kids look scared. A man is engaged in a battle with fiends. He may need a helping hand. Why would there be fiends in a freaking Disney World Park? The heck? Don't even. Darn it! Oh yeah, you better go away. Wait, do I need to talk to him? Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, they're scary attractions. Oh, okay. But they look like they can hurt you. I love that they he referenced Monty Python. Oh, it was fun. It's a fun little thing. I was so shocked when he said it. I was like, what? What the heck? Oh, there he is. I know not who you are. But my thanks for your timely aid. Uh oh. Your bait's so strong! That was amazing, Otis! And you too, miss! How does he know my name? <laughs> <laughs> Fiends such as these are naught to be feared. Well then, dealt with it already, have you? Be at ease, one and all. So long as I, Sir Otis, live and breathe, no citizen shall come to harm. Otis! <laughs> of all the people, could you really be that Otis? Hmm. I'm certain I do not know what you mean by that, Otis. I am who I am, and I should very much like to know who you are. He doesn't know who we are. That's a Manderville man. <laughs> You're Sir Otis Villona, Lord Captain of the Royal Knights of Alexandria, yes? We met you while searching for Gurulja. You cooked a most delicious repast for us, fought beside us in Solution 9. Gulucha. Solution 9. I've never heard of such things. Uh, he looks like These a grizzled Hildebrand. Of which you speak are utterly unknown to me, as are you. I'm quite confident I would recall if we had met before. Could this be? <gasps> Villainy! You seek to bewilder me for purposes most foul! Where's his eyebrows? No, no, no villainy intended, I swear. Tell me I'm not mad. This is definitely the Otis we know, right? In the flesh, no less. An earlier version. He won't remember his time as a machine. Yeah, it's an earlier version. Darn. They got scratched off. <laughs> I say, what are you whispering about there? Wait, ah, I've no time for this. I must attend to my preparations for the founding celebration. The children begged and begged that I perform in the marquee play, and I cannot possibly disappoint them. That little I girl is so cute. Good day. The Makote girl. <laughs> Founding celebration? Meet Otis. 
He might not be the exact same as the one we met in Heritage Found, but still. Thinking back, he mentioned that he was a test subject for soul preservation. That might explain why he's here in this way. In any case, I'd love to talk to him some more. There are some things I need to tell him. Honey yellow. Hmm. A Knight of Alexandria. How can he have both his memories in that robot and here? Unless they were like split memories or something. Right, let's go after Otis. He's bound to know about the past, about the Alexandria of old as well as Fiend when she was a living person. The problem is he doesn't seem to be in the mood to talk. Perhaps we can offer to help him with his founding celebration. That might warm him to us. He set off this way. Come on. Or a copy. Right. Because they're the facsimiles or, you know, the faxes. <laughs> cool. Can we do anything here? Oh, I thought this was water. Uh, what is that? The air cab station. Okay. Oh my god, look at the little glasses. <laughs> so cute. <laughs> Um, oh god. Please let me through. I want to go and see the castle. We'll go once I've caught my breath, alright? Sounds like we'll be riding the air cab then. What is an air cab? The monorail? Oh, cool! Oh wait, I'm here. What am I supposed to be doing? This place hardly feels real. I think that's what the guy said, but... Oh, do I need to go up there? Sounds luxurious. Hi, Whirly. Happy Tuesday. <laughs> it's not Monday. Are you harmed or are you unharmed? Hmm, the latter, methinks. To which her highness replies with her winsome smile. I am thanks to you, my dearest Otis. <laughs> Why is he squinting? <laughs> <laughs> With the wind blowing? Wait, that's funny. <laughs> y you again? Sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt your rehearsal. Shall I play the part of the queen? <laughs> I appreciate the offer, but there is no need. The script is my own work, you see, and I know Princess Fiends. Princess? Princess Fiend's lines even better than mine own. Not queen. Princess. He really is like a held brand, yeah. There is, however, a scene with which I struggle. Hey, this looks like fun. Can I join in? <laughs> you as well? I thought I said that I was busy. You did, but we thought that maybe we could help. You're getting ready for the founding celebration, yes? I am, but in truth, and if truth be told, you are in dire need of assistance. 
we are in dire need of assistance. For this edition of the celebration, there is there is to be a play about the history of our realm for the children's enjoyment. But with fewer of us being, give, being given form, we haven't enough hands to carry out the production. Thus have I been tasked with not only writing the script, but performing as myself besides. Calm down, it's all right. We really are happy to help any way we can. Just tell, just tell us what to do. For the same reason, the production is shorthanded. It has become difficult to gather a crowd. I'd be obliged if you could spread the word of the play to the children in Yesterland. Consider it done. We'll take ourselves around and talk to younglings. Swindon! Oh, and to, be, and to better appeal to them, we have adorable animal costumes for you to wear, together with your cheeriest be bearing, of course. Okay, this is a nice, like, break from the sadness. <laughs> uh, Alright, anything to make the children happy. Ah, let's see. Ah, uh, yes, this one should be suitable for you. What is he gonna make me wear? Oh. <laughs> it's a giant elephant. <laughs> oh, it's a glamour. I was confused for a moment when you handed me this the device. I have something in mind for you as well. Let me know when you are ready and I shall activate it for you. Oh boy. What? <laughs> Look at her. Oh no, her nose is going in her outfit because she's looking at me and I'm so short. <laughs> All right, what's my outfit gonna be? Are you ready? Then let us have you don your costume at once. I'm gonna be, can I be a chocobo? Can I be a chocobo or a cactar? Am I gonna be a squirrel? Oh, I'm a bunny. <laughs> the heck? <laughs> Tiny bunny. <laughs> Marvelous! There's not a child that would fail to be delighted. Look how small! <laughs> Funny! It really does suit you. Oh my god. Wait, if you are a Vera, do you are, are you also a, a bunny? I've never seen a Vera so small. <laughs> Now that you are suitably attired, I pray you go forth and promote our play to the children. Concentrate your efforts here in the vicinity of the air cab station and see that you make it fun. In the meantime, I shall continue my own preparations here. Should your costumes wear off, I shall provide you with another. Oh, okay. So this is like a time limit. Is everybody a rabbit? I think I was just a bunny too. That's funny. You must be wearing the costume provided by Otis in order to progress. You will change back to your normal garments if you move too far away. Look to your map for the garment changes area of effect. Speak with Otis to restore or prolong the garment change. Okay. Oh my god. Wokla Matt with her giant axe. <laughs> Alright, here we go. Oh, here we go. Let's go and talk. Boing, boing, boing. A hole, a rabbit monster. You shall rue the day you cross paths with this royal knight. <laughs> There's going to be a play with knights and stuff? Come on, let's go and watch. We can ride the air cab later. That's the spirit. Boing, 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 boing. Wait, I have to talk to how many? Quiet girl. You need to look up to speak to the kids. <laughs> I know. <laughs> oh, hello there, Mr. Rabbit. What's the matter? Ah, the play. I know about it. They sometimes have performances over at the castle. I've seen it before, so I was going to give it a miss. But if you say it's special this time, then all right, I'll go. Okay. Playing the part, chat. I have screenshots here goofing off as the bunny. <laughs> Do you? 
It's cute. Look, look, it's a rabbit. What is it? Want to play with us, do you? There's going to be a play about Queen's Fiend? I want to see it. I want to see it. We'll head over to the castle right away. Thanks for telling us. Alright, are the other ones, like, up here? I think they're up here, so let me go up here. <laughs> Have we ever seen a Lola child? I don't think so. I don't know. I don't... Have we? Where are the Lala... F oh, here we go. Here's a lot Here are Lala Childs. Children. <laughs> oh, are you here to look at Queen's Bean too, Mr. Rabbit? That great big golden statue is exactly what she looks like. That's what my mom told me, and she's a scientist. She looks like that? My mom also told me that the terminal is a tomb. Her majesty must watch over all of us from there. Did she not like walk around? Or like before, did she not like, did Queen Speed not like walk around and like say hi and stuff? I'm confused. Hi Kay. They're the same height as you. Yeah, well, Fell stopped growing after we hit a certain age, I guess. I don't know. I don't know the lore behind the Lollafell. Uh, a play about the realm's founding? I love history. That sounds great. I'll let my mom know so we can go and watch it together. Thank you, Mr. Rabbit. Okay, where is the... Oh, they're down below. Oh, there we go. Ow. Well, well, who should interrupt my air cap watching but a person in a silly costume? Let me guess, you're here to tell me about the play. Don't bother, I've seen it no less than 50 times already. Otis is coming, is going to perform as himself? Now that's a new twist on an old classic. Alright, alright, just for that, I'm willing to see the play again. Yeah. Oh, wow, stream elements. Post that twice, shall you? Okay, alright, let's go tell Otis. Look at my little tail. <laughs> you finished making your rounds? Excellent. I shall take the costume off your hands. And back to myself. Thanks to the two of you promoting the play in my stead, I could memorize the lines to my satisfaction. I am grateful beyond measure. Don't mention it. It was fun meeting endless children. Endless children? What an odd thing to say when you're endless your, uh, ourselves. No more baby bun. <laughs> it's uh, complicated. I'd explain it to you, but the play's due to start soon, isn't it? <laughs> Change the subject. I very soon, I must needs make my way to the venue and see to the final preparations. Let's talk later then. We'll be cheering you on from the crowd. Um, by all means. But hold on. What would you say to performing in the play as well? <gasps> We're gonna perform? Uh, are you serious? Oh no, definitely not. I've never done anything like that and I don't think I can learn lines on such short notice. Haha, <laughs> rest assured, it would be a difficult it wouldn't be a difficult part. What I have in mind for the two of you is a little sword play, a duel between Alexandrian and Lindblom's soldiers. That is exactly to please that is certain to please the children and without the needs of without the needs for words. What what do you think? Yes! Let's fight. Have at you, Lindblom scum! <laughs> Uh, that's keen, are you? Alright, you asked for it. Then it's settled. I shall prepare your costumes for you. You need but engage in a mock fight. While there isn't time for a rehearsal, the little mistakes are in good entertainment. With that, I shall go and inform the troop members of the changes. Pray make your way to Proto-Alexandria and await further instructions. 
Proto Alexandria. Oh my god! Hi, Elle! Thank you, Elle! Hold on one second. That's the castle where the terminal is. When we shut it down, yes, and endless in it will also fade away. So, let's give them a show to remember. And we'll remember them too. Them and what it is that they seek to preserve through, their, through this celebration. Oh yeah, I forgot that we're, you know, wiping them off of, you know. Elle, thank you so much for so being. Welcome to our, welcome to our little fairy family. That was really sweet of you. Thank you for so being. And Hokey, thank you for 15 months. How you doing, Hokey? How's your Tuesday going? <sighs> okay. So, two proto eggs Alexandria. I think I go up this way. Is it, am I gonna be sad about Otis? He doesn't remember us though. Hi, Dale. Cool, we're going to the castle to see a performance. They always do performances in front of the castle in Disneyland and World. <laughs> yeah. Here, maybe I can, oh, right. Ow. Out runner. Wait, how the heck do I get to the castle? Wait, is it this way? Oh, I think I have to go up this way. Okay. Oh, so angry. <laughs> so angry. I'm assuming this loops around. Because there's the castle right there. Assuming everybody's gonna be here now because can you imagine they show a really cool show and it's like the last show you'll ever see and then you miss it <laughs> I was in the bathroom okay Ooh, look at this wow <laughs> Well, this seems to be the right place. What's on the program, I wonder? And where are the others, for that matter? <laughs> We're in the play. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. Tonight's performance is a story that takes place long, long ago. A great conflict rages over precious Electro, and the Kingdom of Alexandria has been embroiled in the chaos. When the royal capital comes under siege, royal. the Kingdom's valiant knights lay their lives on the line for their beloved, Princess Sveen. I bid you keep your handkerchiefs at hand. Now, without further ado... No more crying from me. Oh, 
Oh my god. <laughs> Fair me! <laughs> Oh my god. I beg your pardon. <laughs> <laughs> what a twist. <laughs> Wait, that's really cute. <laughs> oh, unbelievable. Hey, he doesn't seem amused. <laughs> when did you level to a hundred paladin? In a matter of seconds, so tell me, are you proud? Ooh! Arg, I, I am killed. <laughs> what? <laughs> nice. Go me! Yeah! <laughs> you must flee, all of you. Oh, she's a. Uh, oh, look! It's another Lalafell. Are you unharmed? <laughs> oh, I am thanks to you, my dearest Otis. My dearest? And so, in no small part due to the valor of the royal knights, the kingdom succeeds in repelling the invaders. Did they like each other? But their jubilation proves short-lived. For in mad defiance, the enemy unleashes a forbidden weapon which brings about a terrible calamity. Full many lose their lives. Oh no, this got so serious. The good Queen Sphine, shining vision of hope among them. Is that a new ring on our finger? What was that ring? Go it was always her. there. You're supposed to go to her. <laughs> oh shoot! He's having flashbacks. What's happening? Is it over already? And then, though the people grieved their queen's tragic passing, uh, guided by her legacy of compassion... Oh boy. They, um, worked hand in hand to overcome an age of hardship, and in time, they built a peaceful and prosperous Alexandria. A new Alexandria! Oh yeah, good job. The second level of fell fall queen we, we saw fall. Stop. <laughs> Pray forgive me. The memories. The flashbacks. They had me in a vice grip. All's well that ends well. I wouldn't dwell on it. <laughs> And Lollafell didn't know how long to stay there. How long am I supposed to pretend to be dead? <laughs> uh, sure. Stop clapping. Start clapping. <laughs> oh if God. I may ask, during your improvisation, you spoke of a new Alexandria. And so I'm given to wonder, do you hail from a time after my own? He knows what gave it away. We do. And we're living people, not endless. My word, that I should meet the living in this place. There 
is another question I dread to speak aloud. A question I couldn't bring myself to pose to newcomers out of fear of the truth. Alexandria, does it still exist? It does. It isn't quite the place you knew, but it endures. The descendants of your people walk its streets and live each day to the fullest as proud Alexandrians. <laughs> sort of, kind of. They live. We live. I... I had failed to protect my queen, but to hear that, it brings me a measure of peace. Aww. You were there too, Otis. That is an incarnation of you. Of me? That's absurd. But wait, something comes back to me. When they were researching a means to resurrect Her Majesty, memory preservation or some such, I volunteered to be a test subject. Ah. No. It is a fog I cannot pierce. But pray, tell me, this incarnation of myself, what was he like? He was a proud and violent knight of the realm. He was a brave soul who protected his queen to the last. Oh, I like both of them. Let's do that last one. That's not all. He was a father in all but name to the new king, Gululja. Whatever you may have failed to do, you're the noblest of souls, Otis. And your deeds, your sacrifice, gave us hope that we sorely needed. That was weird. My stream like hicked up, hick up for a second. Heck, my whole computer did. <laughs> Tis miracle. Verily, there can be no other way to describe it. It is. It really is. We bear the legacy of your other self, and we'd be glad to bear yours as well. My, what comfort you offer. With such dependable souls to take up my shield, I may rest easy indeed. <clears throat> I beg you, watch over our new king. The war changed my queen. To her final moment, grief darkened her gentle countenance. I've not the honor of knowing Galun Ja, but I pray that for all his days, he shall have cause to smile. Aww. We'll see to it he does, Otis. Time to delete the children. Well, can we talk to him? No explanations are required. I have, uh, intuited your, pur intuited your purpose. There are paths only the living may walk. Mine was a tumultuous life, tumultuous life, replete, replete with joy and sorrow both, but it ends on a bright note, thanks to you. If I have one regret, however, it is that I could not meet the new king. Send him my regards, won't you? Aw, that's sweet. 
Thank goodness Galul Jaw isn't here, man. <laughs> Boy, this one wasn't so sad though. It's sad, but not. Oh, I'm okay. That was a fun little. I needed a break. <laughs> the last one got me. Let's go down the stairs. Ooh. Break over back to soul crushing. Yay. The fact that it's mostly children, Yesterlin explains all the amusements here, but as happy as they seem, it's hard to think about their lives before this. For it is the form of an endless, reflects their happiest self. It means they died before they grew up, or grew up to find no greater happiness. Thanks for that, Aaron Bell. Thanks. That was a marvelous play. Tis a shame that they will be the last performance, but it will forever be etched in my memories. <laughs> I had a wonderful time, and I believe everyone here did too. Oh God. Suffice it to say, I didn't expect you to appear on stage. You did a fine job, both of you. Cute. Well, we're here. Are you having doubts? No, I'll do what I came to do. It's just the fonder you are of someone, the harder it is to say farewell. If you're ready, miss, then I am too. All right, let me, let me just say a word about those we met here. That night, he was the one who looked after Gurulja. And now you follow in his footsteps. Mm. And those of others as well. We've come to know how much Sveen's people loved her. How much they yearned for peace. All of this we'll carry with us. I see. Two down, two to go, four to go, three to go, three to go. Got the other two areas and then the big motherboard. <laughs> it's like waking up from a sweet dream to bitter reality. But I'll never forget my time with Endless or the pain I feel now. We're more than memories stored in machines. So long as someone remembers us and carries on our legacy, we'll never truly fade away. Okay. If I knew what what had to be done just so I could be endless, I would say in me. Yeah, same. I wouldn't want to be endless at all. 